Welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Michael Pierce. It's not often we get a chance to talk about defensive tackle play on here, but this guy had himself a day. Let's look at his stats real quick before we get into the film. He ended up with five total tackles. As far as tackles for loss, he had one. He had a sack. He had a sack fumble. He had a pass defended, and he had a forced fumble. Uh, it don't get much better than that for a defensive tackle. Um, probably could have had more, you know, tackles or TFLs or things like that, but he pretty much controlled the line of scrimmage. Now, the rest of the guys that are up there with him, they kind of got pushed around throughout the day, but any time a play needed to be played, Michael Pierce made it, which ended him up on PFFs all week 18. And you see him right there as one of the defensive linemen with uh, the New York Giants, Dexter Lawrence. So let's get into what Michael Pierce did to prove his worthiness and stand out and have an excellent day versus the Arizona Cardinals for the Baltimore Ravens. Run the intro. Welcome back. Let's get into Michael Pierce. But before we get into Michael Pierce, if you like the video, like the video. And if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And when you do subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2023 season. All right, now let's get into Michael Pierce and what he did to dominate the Arizona Cardinals defensive or offensive line. There's Michael Pierce highlighted right there. Let's run it. On this play, defeats the double team. And ends up getting a tackle. Right now, you got the center and the guard really trying to take him on. And what they want to do is they want to double team him and get up the rope on. But he's taking it on head on, and he can kind of see what's going on right there. He can he his eyes, you know, because he they need to be hip to hip, so he can't see what's going on, and then they can get better leverage to get up to the linebackers. But the fact that they're not hip to hip that benefits Michael Pierce. He's still fighting it now. Now that he's disengaged to go to Roquan, he has him mano a mano. So now Pierce is winning already when he disengaged because he can press this guy out because he doesn't have a side. They're one-on-one -on -one head up. And now Pierce can press him out and see what's going on. And that's exactly what he does. Look how Pierce disengages, sees where the back is, and right there to make the tackle. So the double team really was null and void. That was, a, that was what you would call a weak double team because they didn't get any movement. The first, the first rule of double team is to get some movement. Pierce didn't allow any movement. And then when he decided to climb to the linebacker, which is what he needed to do because they're trying to get a hat on the hat, Pierce then defeated the solo block, stayed in his gap, had great gap integrity, made the tackle. And that's what you want, want out of your defensive lineman. Don't get moved on a double team. Then win your solo blocks. Stay in your gap. Great assignment football. That's winning your one on ones. That's all you need. That's all you need. Win your one on ones. And that's what he got. Now, when he was double teamed, he, he didn't lose it. But then once he got to a one on one situation, he won that. Let's go to play two. All right, there's Piers right there. It's a goal to goal situation. I mean, not a goal to goal, a short, short yard situation. Look at, look at the center. The center engages. Watch him disengage with the center. Get, get out of here. Swim the center. Great technique on the swim. Throw him out the way. Throw him by. Right in the middle of the hole. Now, that's technically, see, that's a hole right there. He didn't get called, but still, he fought through it. Made a tackle on Mercado. Fourth and one stop. Turnover on downs. Great job of disengaging and defeating the center. Again, winning your one-on-ones. Now, as a whole, as a whole, this group ain't played great. That group didn't play great as a whole. But again, on defense, one guy can stand out and make up for it. And that's kind of what Michael Pierce was doing um, Sunday. He was the one guy that was just showing his you-know-what and, and made that group look good. 
Play three. All right. So we're on this side now. See him spot shot old. Try to run outside zone. Look at him work the leverage, man. Look at the big man move. Immediately recognizes outside zone. And immediately recognizes outside zone and does not refuse to get hooked. Gets his body turned, gets presses the leverage. Great technique. And it's right there to make the tackle for a tackle for a loss. Great lateral quickness. Great lateral quick quickness. Realizes that the, the offensive lineman wants to hook him. Refuses to be hooked. Stays great gap integrity. Look at that. Clowney has that gap. He has that gap. Both outside arms free. Great gap integrity. And then let the ball come to you. Don't miss your tackle. Again, that group didn't play well. Like as a whole, Michael Pierce played damn good. Played damn good. And then time a play needed to be played made up there, he made it. He made it. Play four. Straight up nose. Zero technique. At this point, when you when you got a guy right there, the primary job, whoop the centers, you know what. Mm. That same, that same little stunt. We just do it so many different ways. Watch Owe come and take him out. Mm. Look at Owe. Just take his hip out. Watch Owe come and take out the center's hip. Pierce will come right, loop right off of it and get to the quarterback. Great job by Owe taking the center out. Pierce got a straight B line to Josh Dobbs. Straight B line. He does a good job of what little bit the center has on him, using his hands to get rid of him. Watch his hands. Oop, oop, oop. He got the wrist. Hold on. I went a little bit too fast. The wrist locked right there. On the, the, the left hand, getting the center out of the way. The arm over with the right hand to finish him off. Now make a beeline to the quarterback. Now, at this point, he got a sack. But you can't see it from this angle, Liz. He's still swatting at the ball. And at the last minute, he hits the ball. And boom. There it goes. Now, at this point, we should have had a scoop and score. We should have had a scoop and score. Clowney missed the initial scoop, and we don't, we don't even get the ball. But on this play, Pierce gets a sack and a, it's a sack fumble. Almost gets the, the, the Holy Trinity. Almost. Almost. But we're doing a good job with that act stunt, and, you know, we're doing it a bunch of different ways. We're using D-tackles. We're using edges and D-tackles. We're using linebackers and edges. We're using linebackers and D-tackles. Mike's doing a good job of scheming this certain individual little pick stunt up, and we're getting, getting home with it. Doing it a bunch of different ways. A bunch of different people that have been involved in it. And it's crazy. Look, matter of fact, look at this. Look at this lineup. Look at the edge guy. This is Matt BK out here. I just noticed that. That's Matt BK. It's Matt BK. Matt BK, clowning. Move all the way inside versus the guard. And you got Pierce as a nose. That's that's not a bad pass rush front right there. Because even even though we clown this dude, he's he's been playing some decent football. Even though he missed a sack. Even though he missed a sack. Let's go to the next one. All right. Playing over the guard right here. Straight bull rush. Look at that. And this is early in the game. We need this early in the game. This is this was a third down, if I'm not mistaken. Can't get to the quarterback. Can't get there. Can't get there. Get, the, get it down. Get it swatted. Get it swatted. This was a big third down, if I'm not mistaken, early in the game. Great hands to knock it down. Savvy veteran, man. Savvy veteran. I can't get there. I'm looking at his eyes. Even though he's still whooping the guard, I'm going to just swat it down. I'm going to swat it down. And, again, we just we got guys that are uh, not too old. They got, they got the veteran presence. They, they're playing, like, out of their mind. And, again, th this defensive front didn't have the greatest day. But Pierce did, and he made up for it. He made up for his play, his timely TFLs, and this play right here and other plays was, was the reason we was able to keep these guys at bay and do what we needed to do, man. Because, you know, the first half, they scored on the opening drive. But after that, they didn't get close to the end zone the rest of that half, which allowed a little cushion 
for the, the offense to kind of find their way. And then we got those turnovers. We were able to get points off those turnovers. And that, you know, it helped us put the game away. So Michael Pierce, man, great day. Uh, hopefully it'll continue next week and the rest of the guys will come with you and, and play to your level. And we'll have a, a better showing holistically. So this is my two cents on Michael Pierce. And um, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember the motto, FTMF, because film, then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Enjoy your Tuesday. Peace.